como el agua que era que llueve en el cielo. Cabrón. Te quiero porque quiero que me quieras, porque como tú no hay nadie más que me quiera. Tú ya eres como el cielo. Chinga que pedo. You finished crying now? <laughs> so, you've gotten bad news. Or, you've actually seen your lover in Target with someone new. Your friends are telling you to move on. She's moved on. And there's no hope for you ever getting back with the love of your life. I've been there. And I'm going to tell you, that's a goddamn lie. <laughs> See, I'm not going to mention names in my videos, but what I'm going to say is I've had a client recently, and that client can pretty much vouch for what I'm saying here, was that the client was told by his friends that he was never going to be with the love of his life, he was going to move on. And when we did the work, yeah, it took some fucking time. Who knows? Maybe I think it was a couple of months to about a year. And now he's back with her. See, let me tell you something. You're going to have a lot of people that's going to tell you it's impossible. But where Haitian Maji comes into play is that Haitian Maji makes the impossible possible. But you got to have faith to hold on. Because what's going to happen or what happens in most of the time is that your friends don't know what you're doing. Your friends will always tell you negative things, you know, but it's negative because they're want to they believe that is what you need to hear or what you need to uh confront because of their limited understanding of spirituality they believe once it's gone it's gone but in this world there is no there it doesn't work like that what you want is what you will obtain but depending on what type of work you do some work can have severe consequences if your target puts up resistance. And those are the consequences that you have to deal with. And that's what most spiritualists should advise the client if they're doing real, real work. What is the consequence of this? What is the additional issue that may come with me doing this work? See, a lot of people don't think these things through. I'm a type of person, yes, there's good to this work, and there's also bad. And the bad part is, if your lover is putting up resistance, this thing is going to break that person's life down. And sometimes, it can either be, it's either they come back to you, or they come back to you in three ways. One, they can come back to you in one piece. Two, they can come back to you in a wheelchair. Three. They'll come back to you in a fucking coffin. So you have to know what you're willing to risk and how you're willing to play. Because not everyone is of your, or let's just say, not everyone is comp compatible with what your desires are. This thing here, you have to understand. When you are going to do work to bring your lover back, you have to have a will. You have to have a strong will. Most people say, Leonard, how can I develop a, a nonchalant attitude towards this? 
Leonard, how can I become impervious to, you know, feeling, you know, so bad about this person? Well, all I can just tell you is that what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. What makes some people numb is because at one point in their life they cried. Sometimes we have to go through the hard issues of life in order to become strong. So brace yourself for the things you see when you're going to work because this work here, you got to be able to take the pain that comes with it. Some people, they can't. They break. Oh my God, honestly, I, you know, they're out right now. You know, I'm doing work, but they're out right now. Oh my God, you know, I, this work is not working. You know, you know and, they, and they give up. You have to embrace the pain. You have to embrace that emotional pain, that, 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 that hurt. Because this is what's going to make you stronger. And when you come out of this situation, if you ever do something fucked up again, you will not have the same response. Because you've developed emotional conditioning. You have the, endur the emotional endurance to put up with issues. Such mm -hmm. as breakups. Such as divorces. Because you know, as you, know, you go through the situation, you know you can fix it. You can correct it. For those of you that are broken hearted, I want to say to you, where there's a will, there's a way. And I got to repeat that again because it's so magnificent just to say that. Where there's a will, there's a way. Most people give up because they have a weak will. They listen to what people tell them. Oh my God. And they deviate from what they're supposed to be doing. Solid as a rock. Jesus is the rock, the rock, the rock. Jesus is the rock of my salvation. <laughs> you have to be solid as a rock. <laughs> solid as a rock, that's what you got to be. So cheer up, my brother. Cheer up, my sister. Don't Bob Marley got a song like that. You know what I'm saying? I forgot the name of the song, but you got to cheer up. Because you're broken heart. You got to. Remove that. The sun is out. Actually, the sun is trying to make its way out as I'm making this video. It was just raining. It was just raining. Now the sun is trying to make its way out. And I'm going to use this as a motivation to say what I need to say. All you're crying. There's a way. You're crying. You're in hurt. And you're in pain. There's a way. I know your friends is telling you, oh, you know, this is not going to happen. Move on. I know that some of these uh, psychics are telling you, oh, this is definite. It's not going to happen. You got to, you, you, you're going to have to uh, put, what they call those things in your ear? You're going to have to put some, uh, uh, what is it, you know, I, I forgot, ear protection on. Your PPE, your personal protective equipment, you know, put that, put that in your ear and block that. The conversations, stop listening to junk conversations. What you, what you need to do is listen to things that are motivational. Listen to things that will that will glorify determination, that will glorify faith. You people are listening to so, so much garbage, and then you wonder why you quit like a fucking loser. Let's get this person back. Let's do this. Let's do this. I could lose.